Team Keep It Clean. Ravens got some big updates going on that we got to talk about. And first and foremost, I hope you all are doing really good. Happy Monday. Hope this is the start to a great week for everybody. And if it started off rough, it's okay. It's only the beginning. Like, it's only 11.41 a.m. Well, by the time you see this video, because my internet be kind of slow. It might be like 12 something. But you get the point. Just because it, it, it's, it ain't about how you start, it's how you finish. So finish it strong. Anyway, um, the small stuff first. Uh, yesterday, or the day before yesterday, the Ravens had a couple of tryouts at cornerback. And John Harbaugh did say, hey, we, we got to have some more cornerbacks because we need more depth and whatnot. And it happens with every team. They, they want as much depth as they can possibly have for training camp and for reps so they can spread them out so they don't wear anybody out too early. They don't, oh, they don't tie anybody out. We get it. So... They tried out cornerbacks Ken Crawley, Dale Roberts, and Daryl Worley. Now, now Worley, he was with the Ravens last year. He was either on the practice squad or was he on the active roster? Maybe he went from the practice squad to the active roster because so many cornerbacks were hurt last year. So, anyway, that was that. So, that's, that's out of the way. Now, let's talk about the big stuff. Now, first and foremost, a um, little, little concern. A little, 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 little concern for me. Uh, Tyler Lindenbaum. I saw a report from uh, Ian Rappaport and Mike Garofalo th this morning uh, where they said that um, Tyler Lindenbaum has a reoccurrence of a Liz Frank injury. Now, ooh, that word is scary, Liz Frank, because when I've heard about Liz Frank injuries, I believe that's what Hollywood had. Um, I, I believe that's Jimmy Smith. He had one in his career, too. Um but it feels like it seems like it's something that can kind of like linger if not taken care of. Now, they did say it's a sprain and not a tear, not a rupture. So if he can manage to play through it, then cool. But see, that part, that scares me. Too. Now, I ain't no doctor. I am not a doctor, not a healthcare professional or anything like that. Shout out to those of you who are. So y'all will understand this a little bit more. But just... That, that scares me. That scares me because, to me, if he has a Liz Frank injury, um, that sounds like something that may need sur surgery to fully uh, heal, to be fully repaired. And if he's not going to get it, then he could possibly go into the season still dealing with that injury. And if it's not fully healed, then there's a chance that it could get worse. And I'm just, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm just thinking about it realistically. Like, what could possibly happen? Is it just strictly a pain management thing with no other risk involved? Or is it deeper than that? And I'm, I'm thinking it's deeper than that, but hey, if anybody's a healthcare expert, feel free to clear it up. But that, <clears throat> that, that does worry me. Um, be, uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's scary to me, but Hey, maybe I'm misinterpreting the whole thing. Hopefully that's what it is, but cause I just, I just don't want it to be where it's, it's one of those things that just lingers and lingers like with Charlie Collar with him. Um, Harbaugh said that he had the, uh, the little sports hernia injury and they said that he played through it a lot in college and he was hopeful to play through it in the NFL, but he just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. So he got the surgery. So now he's been out. Um, so now that forced him to miss some time. And see, I just, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know exactly how all the process is. I know when, before the draft, you do a bunch of uh, fact checking and you check their medical records and whatnot. Um, so I just wonder, like, after they drafted him and signing him and whatnot, and, and same with Tyler Linderbaum, really with everybody, um, if they checked their, their medical history, uh, their injury history and whatnot, were they not like, hey, get the surgery early so you could go ahead and knock it out so when training camp rolls around, you'll be good to go? That, like, I would think that, but again, like I said, I don't know all the background of how that process goes, um, but I'm a little concerned about it. But I get, we just got to wait and see. We got to wait and see. Harbaugh said one to two weeks for Tyler Lindenbaum to return. Um, so I would lean more toward two weeks. I would lean more that way. Because uh, if Harbaugh gives you a time frame for somebody returning from injury, just add a little bit extra to it. 
If I say one or two weeks, add, add another week just for your own mental health. That that's what I would do. That's what I'm doing. Um, but we, we'll see what happens. Uh, hoping for the best for Tyler Lindenbaum, and whew, that that is a bit worrisome though. Um, anyway, um, on to uh, possible really good news for today. Um, two two guys. One Stephen Means. Uh, we'll see what happens with him. Maybe we get some clarification on what's going to go down with him. Um, cause they said he left practice the other day and then didn't practice the next day. And so we don't know what's going on with Steven Means. Um, his status is up in the air. Uh, I would expect the Ravens to sign, uh, outside linebacker help, edge help like this week. Um, and really, yeah, any day now, really, uh, because it's just thin there. You lost Vince Beagle. Steven Means, we'll see what happens with him. You still don't have Tyus Bowser back. So it's like, ooh, okay, ooh, getting a little chilly out there, but let's see. Um, and another thing, last but certainly not least, is the, retur- the possible return of one J.K. Dobbins. Today is a, such a big day for J.K. Dobbins because they are going to, we should find out today, if he's cleared to return to practice. They said that they will go over everything. They will go through his medicals and whatnot. They will check him out. The doctors will look at him, examine him. And if he's clear, he'll be clear. But if he's not, then he won't be. Now, with that, uh, say for best case scenario, he's cleared. Great. He's back. Let's get it. Let's go. But worst, worst, worst case scenario, he's not cleared yet. That's fine, too. That's fine. The season does not start tomorrow. It does not start in two days. I mean, it, it feels like it's like two days away with how fast stuff been going. Um, and it is close, no doubt. But even if it started tomorrow and he wasn't cleared. Okay, okay cool. All right. Ravens prepared for this. Okay. All right. Because Gus, Gus ain't going to be out there week one. Gus probably ain't going to be out there for a while. A long while. Um. But if J.K. wasn't out there yet, we would much rather him out there if, if we want to start tomorrow. But if he was, it's a long season. It's a long season. And again, Ravens, they got to play the long game, not the short game. They got to play the long game. So patience is should be at an all time high. But with J.K. Dobbins, if he's not clear today, OK, there's always tomorrow and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Uh, but my point when I say all of that is that they don't have to rush him and they shouldn't be rushing him. But hopefully, uh, if he does get cleared, that will mean he's completely healthy. He's 100% ready to go, and he's fully healed. And it's like, all right, awesome, great job. J.K. is back. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Like, this will be a, a very fitting day for J.K. to return because for the press later on today, it's Mike Davis talking, a running back. It's um, Justice Hill talking, a running back. And I believe it's the running back's coach who's also going to be talking. So this would be like the perfect day to make the big announcement. Oh, J.K. has returned. So hopefully that's what goes down. And J.K. Dobbins can no longer say that he is out.